Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about two new super infectious variants of the SARS-CoV-2. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains paper. So let's begin with the first topic. Why is it in the news? It is in the news because two new variants have been found lurking in the dark. The first one being N440K that was found in Gujarat in January and still is a hub. Gujarat is still a hub for the variant N440K. And the second one which has been discovered by the National Institute of Virology is B11282. So these two new variants have been termed as super infectious. This particular variant is 10 times more infectious than the Delta virus which caused a recent surge in the COVID-19 infection and death cases. So if we talk about viruses, what are viruses? Now the viruses are non-cellular organisms, they are obligate parasites. That means when they infect a cell, they take over the entire machinery to replicate themselves, to sustain themselves, eventually killing the host. The name of virus was first ever propounded by Pasteur. I am going to write the spelling. And virus means poisonous fluid. Now, virus is made of protein and genetic material. That is, if the genetic material is RNA, then the information of genetic material is stored here. And the other one is DNA. Alright. And viruses that infect plants, they are generally single stranded. RNA and animals are generally affected by single or double stranded RNA or double stranded DNA. The proteins quote called capsid. Here, as you can see, this is capsid. All right, and these are made of small subunits called capsomere. These protect the nucleic acid. And coronaviruses are a highly diverse family of enveloped positive sense single stranded rna virus now there are only two viruses generally one third of the entire virus genre is of positive sense single stranded rna and accordingly hepatovirus a which causes hepatitis and sars cov2 which causes coronavirus these two are positive sense single stranded rna let's talk about the different shapes of virus can you please tell me which category does covid belong to. Moving on, according to the WHO, that was a new variant, the SARS-CoV-2. That caused pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan, China and many theories are being suggested recently that this has been done by a lab. It's a lab leak. This was made to be used in the World War III by the Chinese government. And the new coronavirus is different from previously discovered human coronaviruses and further understanding is being done. Coronavirus are named for the crown-like spikes on their surface corona, which means halo or crown in Latin. Now, human coronaviruses were first identified in the mid-1960s. And till date, scientists have identified six coronaviruses that can infect people. These are the different variants of coronavirus. And while the two other human coronaviruses that have been known frequently cause severe symptoms that are MERS and SARS-CoV. Moving on, other coronaviruses can also infect mammals and animals like cats, dogs, monkeys and rodents. We all already know that it is being transmitted through the air by coughing and sneezing, close personal contact, touching an object on the surface with the virus on it and then touching your eyes, nose and your face without washing your hands and it really spreads through fecal contamination. If we talk about the antibodies, a lot of research has been going on on this as well. So we do not have a very concrete opinion about antibodies. And if we talk about new cases in the last 24 hours, this was yesterday's data, the lowest in the 60 plus days, 86,498. The death rate has also come down and rate of recovery is also better. And if we talk about the five states which account for the 65.9% of new cases are Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Kerala and Odisha. If we talk about the state-wise prevalence of N440K, Telangana, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Chhattisgarh. Among these sequences, this much has been found. 
to be the variant of N440K. And this is worrying because this has been rising in certain clusters of India. Contributed, India contributed the largest proportion of N440K variants at 33%, followed by the US and Germany. Between March and April, more N440K variants were added in that in the previous months. And an increase in the proportion of this variant in Indian samples is also evident that with almost 10% of the sequences being submitted in April 2021. These are the different states we have already talked about and it's 10 times more infectious, both of the super infective viruses. And infectivity of a strain depends upon many factors such as how efficiently it can enter the host, how fast it can use the host machinery to replicate itself and how efficiently it can escape the immune response. It will escape and bypass your immune response. Your immunity system will not even know that we, we have a virus inside our body. And the scientists of ACSIR did not compare the infective titter of the N440K with UK variant or the double mutant found in India. If we talk about B1128H2, this through genome sequencing of samples from international travelers was found from UK and Brazil. Genome sequencing is basically to demystify the sequence of nucleic acid, the DNA, the RNA of a virus and the researchers at NIV assess the pathogenicity, that is the potential ability to cause disease of the variant in serine hamsters and compared it with B1 variant and the new variant was found to induce body weight loss, cause viral replication in the respiratory tract, lung lesions, severe lung pathology in infected serine hamsters in comparison to D614G variant that is of B1. Now, if we talk about genome sequencing, it is very important for India, especially for SARS-CoV-2 because this will be a road to future of genome mapping program. Moving on, let's talk about the challenges related. First of all, a virus replicating so much, mutating so much, this is unprecedented, never seen in the history. So, if the virus keeps on mutating now and again, what will be the effect if we talk about the efficiency of vaccination program, the efficacy of any sort of drug that is being developed to counter this disease? Because if mutations start to occur this rapidly, the vaccination, if we talk about right now, Covishield and Covaxin, both the doses of these vaccines are very effective in causing these variants to disappear. But it's still not very sure. Huge population, India is a big host for coronavirus and as there is a lack of awareness about the mutation procedure, how the symptoms occur after mutation, this is of course a drawback for India because we have a population which is not very aware of the mutation and how things work when we are affected or infected by a virus. Lackadaisical behavior of the populace. Populace itself, as you can see, is not very well aware. The memory of the Populace is so short that even after the second wave, the toll of the entire second wave of COVID-19, people are still not very vigilant about their own security and hence the security of their family members. The health infrastructure is already dilapidated in India as we have seen. The second wave of the coronavirus has brought out the deep fault lines that were already existing in the health infrastructure of India. And again, as we know that in Japan, the fourth wave of the coronavirus did take a huge toll on their health infrastructure when Japan, a country such as Japan can suffer like this, what about India? And gene sequencing process is also very slow in India as compared to other countries. What is the way forward? Constant awareness should be definitely generated in order for the public to know what are mutated virus, what are their symptoms and that can be done only through gene sequencing and if they are well aware, they should follow COVID-appropriate behavior. They should not remove their masks even after vaccination because as we have seen many cases of infection after vaccination, although the hospitalization rate is very low, still we are very aware that this could happen. Even reinfections are happening. So COVID-appropriate behavior of following the social distancing, physical distancing norms, washing hands all the time when we go out, properly wearing masks and everything should be followed. Health infrastructure strengthening, it is long-term vision, not a short-term vision. We need health infrastructure to be strengthened because this is not going to be our last pandemic. Many such pandemics are in the process and the hotspot is definitely going to be China. So that is the entire gist of this 
new variant that has been found. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.